Welcome back viewers to this tutorial series. This is Jason from Jason G Designs. Here we come to the next and final part of the series that actually involves creating something. In this tutorial we will make use of the terminal colors we created in the first video. Initially I was just going to add a simple .x resources file for a few x11 based terminals. That was until I was informed in a comment by the creator of Themix that I was not using the latest version. In the latest version, there is an option for base 16 templates. Even though I am only focusing on three terminal emulators here, this option is a game changer as it generates code for a lot of applications, not just terminals. We will utilize base 16 to create our color schemes for Xterm, URXBT, and XFCE4 terminal. Adding these color themes for other applications can possibly get complex though. I would advise searching something like how to add a base 16 theme to followed by the name of the application you are trying to apply it to. Let's get down to business. In this clip, you can see how some of the folder colors are used. Various colors from your terminal theme are used for such things as executable files, git commands, and so forth. You will want to be using the latest version of Umox to follow. After clicking on our theme name, we can click on the drop down next to export icons. From there, you will find the base 16 base templates option. Reviewing this, our colors are assigned to variables and applied to each color number. Normally, you can copy all of this and add it to your .x resources file, but making sure to replace any existing colors. For my .x resources file, I placed each color theme into a separate directory and linked each to the x resources file. The way it works is that all of the color schemes are commented out with an exclamation mark, except for the one in current use. If you are interested in setting up color schemes this way, I have a GitHub repo linked in the description that explains this process. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to create a new file in x11-themes named onnew-champagne. From there, we want to go back to Umox to reselect our base 16 theme, making sure .xresources is selected. From that point, we can copy and paste into our newly created Omnu Champagne file. In .x resources, we can add a comment to the beginning of the current theme, then add a new line pointing to the new theme location. In this case, type hashtag x11-themes slash omnu-champagne relative to the folder where .xresources is. Usually this is your home folder. To reload x11 apps, type xrdb space tilde symbol for the home directory for slash .xresources. We can check this out in your XBT and Xterm if you have those terminals. Upon restarting your XBT, my main terminal, it uses the computer's standard font. We will jazz things up to look more attractive in the next part, but it is using our new colors. First, Let's add a new font. This bit of code sets the font to source code pro, 10 point size, and anti aliased. Next, let's reload X resources again.
Here are the new font styles in your XVT and Extra. If you have your XVT, we can add semi-transparency. For this design, we can type in the code seen on the screen, but with the shading set to 10. The type of transparency we're using is called native transparency, according to the Arch Wiki. One good thing is that it doesn't require a compositor. A couple of other changes we can make for URXVT is the letter spacing to bring the letters closer together and to change the scroll style. And looking at the folder text color, it is black against the dark background, not good for readability. In the next part, we will need to adjust some colors. Instead of gray for the base 01 through base 04 colors, we are going to use lighter variations of our background color. Doing an ls command in the terminal now shows us lighter colors for the directories. For base 05 through 07, we can increase the lightest tint by two tint shades from colorhexa.com. Next, we are going to move on to creating a theme for XFCE 4's terminal. As shown on this XFCE forum page, Terminal themes are placed in .local slash share slash xfce4 slash terminal slash color schemes. This is relative to your home folder. You may have to create these directories and files as I had. We want to go back into Umox to grab the base 16 code for XFCE4 terminal. The next steps are to copy the code, create a file inside color schemes named omnuchampagne.theme, and paste the code into that file.
From here, let's open XFCE4 terminal and enter into the preferences setting. Under the colors tab, look for the presets drop down and select Base 16 Umox from New Champagne. The color scheme changes immediately. Running something like HTOP shows a good amount of the colors on display. A couple of other tweaks are to change the font to Source Code Pro from the Appearance tab. And change the transparency to 90% black. Finally, in the onnu champagne.theme file, adjust the name to say base 16 dash onnu dash champagne so the title isn't too long. And that concludes the entire creation part of this series. There will be only one video left where we will be putting together a script to automate updates. Thanks to all my viewers for watching and to the creator of Themix. These tutorials would not be possible without the software itself. If you are using Themix or Umox, check out the Base16 options as there are many. Also, like and subscribe for more content.